Now, the Queen celebrates her official birthday today with the traditional Trooping the Colour parade. That's right. And in a statement released this morning, she says it's difficult to escape a very sombre mood following the recent tragedies in London and Manchester. We're well, here in the studio with Isabel and myself is a royal commentator, Ian Pelham and Turner. And Ian, thanks so much for joining us. Good this morning. Week. I don't even know where to start with you. First of all, your reaction to this statement. It, I thought it was so interesting that there was hardly, if any mention of her birthday at all. It's just a, it's just a one Absolutely line right. saying usually this would be a time to celebrate. However, I'm going to talk about these recent tragedies. I was just saying to my royal colleague uh, Helena Sharp before I came on, I think this is the most historic missive from the Queen in many, many years. I was watching you when you first did it as breaking news earlier this morning. It reminded me straight away of Princess Elizabeth with her Princess Margaret when they did their first radio broadcast in the 1940s during the war to actually tell children of the world how, how they felt and how they empathised with the whole situation. That's exactly what that message has done this morning. It is so important, I feel, these days uh, for the communities to understand that there is people out there. I mean, I know, you know, I run a project called Good News Britain, and I know how important the royal family is to the communities in Britain. They really respect them. And when they see something like that, the value of that, I think, is enormous. See, it's interesting you talking about the Second World War because I'm just trying to look back at when the Queen has come out in the way she has come out. Absolutely. During the season, and I can't, couldn't think of anything, um, I guess, uh, the, you're the war. Absolutely but right. you, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right because I, I, I think the reality was so something like this. I was shocked, if I'm honest. Um, I was shocked to hear that statement this morning. Mm. I think it's such a powerful statement. You know, the, the reality right now is, you'll probably understand, is that all the diversity communities need to come together. They need to feel respected. They need to feel like first-class citizens. And what the Queen has done this morning has, I feel, created that exactly the right feeling. I mean, you were booked to come in, weren't you, before the statement was released this morning. And when I was looking through the guest list, I was thinking, gosh, how, how is the Queen, having come from, you know, Grenfell Tower yesterday and meeting survivors and hearing wailing children, grieving, yeah. going to be then going down at the Mall in a carriage with all the pageantry. And this statement picked up on that mood very astutely, didn't it? It did, because, you know, I, 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 I look at all these things. I mean, you know, well, I work with my colleague, William Cook, who Broadway, who actually first started off Good News. And he has been working on all the tragedies in the past few months. He has seen that firsthand. And, you know, it, it almost honours him as well, as an individual, that the Queen recognises what is going on at the moment. You know, and, and I think, um, uh, as, you, as she said today, yes, I mean, it's, there is a lot of hope out there but that's the thing I think we have to emphasise as well. There is so much hope out there at the same time of what can happen. Uh, and I think uh, right now, people like the royal family, especially William, all of them are now doing their level best to actually talk to the communities and say, you know, there is a future. And the action's been amazing, really, yeah. throughout. Yeah, I can't remember a time where I've seen the royal family so popular um, amongst people. No, I, I, I just, I mean, the, the, to, to actually see what's happening right now, I think is historic. I think that is going to be one of the most historic messages that will come out, uh, you know, from the royal family for a long, long time. And let's not forget, you know, um, Prince William himself, a Kensington resident, just Absolutely. down the road, there's been all this kind of veiled criticism of rich people in the borough yeah. because we've been talking about the inequality surrounding this tragedy. And yet they manage to tread that path, don't they? They're obviously super privileged, incredibly wealthy, and yet very in touch with ordinary people. Well, obviously, because, I mean, he's air ambulance. I mean, that's his training. He will understand. He will have seen at first hand similar tragedies that what's happened you know i was watching i, I think sky news I, I i take my hat off to sky news because i think the reality is you've actually brought the empathy of all the communities right now you know and, and i think you're probably the best channel for That's actually right. doing that at the same time it's so important to actually show what the communities are feeling and talking of diversity, then, what are your thoughts on, on the honours list itself? A lot of diversity, and a lot of them um, honouring those who have been involved in these tragedies in any way, shape or form. It's a start. Um, I don't think 10% is nearly enough, if I'm honest. Um, it, and it was 
from what I understand, it was only done because it's the centenary of the OBE and the MBE, and so they thought 10% of the... I recognise every single day what diversity communities bring to Britain, and I think they should be much more highlighted than they are today. You know, and we try to do it through our TV programme uh, on uh, Good News Britain. Um, but at the same time, it, there are so many people there who really should be honoured a lot more than they are. And just lastly, it is Trooping the Colour today. That yes. will go ahead. Um, yes. You know, say what you like. The Queen will always stick to her plans. Absolutely. What can we expect from today? All the traditional pageantry, which colours will be chosen? I, I think, well, I mean, colour-wise, it... it, it that's going to be, that, that, that's her own statement. I, I think um, the only bit of gossip to look for today um, is whether um, uh, yeah, the, the, uh, the Harry's girlfriend... Uh, will, will Chelsea. <laughs> oh, no, not Chelsea. That's the old one. <laughs> <laughs> well, Someone help the, me. The, Megan. Took my Megan. Time. The, 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 <laughs> the, the problem is at the moment uh, is that two of his former girlfriends as well are on Love Island. So that's, that's causing oh an embarrassment. Now you're losing time. me. You've been watching <laughs> in, your, in, in your free time, Love Island. Interesting. <laughs> well, I, I picked these things up. Yeah, yeah uh, sure you did. You picked <laughs> it up in the press. <laughs> you've been watching. So it should be quite interesting because you've always got a little, little bit of gossip for us. I always know the gossip. So the, the point I, I, I predicted four or five weeks ago on Sky yeah. that uh, I think they're already engaged. I think the Queen... No, will. come on. Why do you think that? You, you know what, he got it right when on the actual um, Pippa's wedding day, yes. he, in terms of how it all went, in terms of uh, Megan not turning up for the actual oh, wedding, right. going to the reception, oh, going spooky. And back. Well, but anyway, yes, you never you you know, heard it here first, then. <laughs> you never know, it might not be, but yes, that's a prediction <laughs> from Ian after watching Love Island. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. Plenty more still to come here on Sunrise, the most diverse Queen's birthday honours list ever. Available to buy and keep in Sky Store.